Hi guys, today we're going to start on your isometric uh, room project and so we're going to be building out the base model that the rest of your house is going to be created on. To do this, I want you to follow along with these steps uh, here that I'm about to show you. And if you watch in the bottom corner here, you'll be able to see the key uh, shortcuts that I'm using to speed up this process. So let's go ahead and delete all of the basic objects that are on our screen. And we're going to start by adding a mesh plane. Okay, that's your flat piece of paper there. But this is way too small to be a house. We want to scale this thing up. So we're going to tab into edit mode. We're going to take S for scale, and we're going to type in 5, enter, to scale this thing up to a much larger floor plan. Okay. Then I'm going to press E, and I'm going to extrude it up 1, enter. So it's 1 meter thick on the bottom. Okay. Um, now that's going to give us our slab that we can build the rest of our house on top of. I'm just going to turn this on real quick. Go. Okay. Now, uh, before I make the walls on here, I want to round off this plane so it's got some smooth corners, kind of like the example images we saw in class. And to do that, we have a thing called a modifier. It's right here under the blue wrench. You're just going to click Add Modifier, Generate, and we're going to use the Bevel modifier. Okay. And what bevel does is if you zoom in, you can see it's actually cut off the corners of my shape. It's rounding them off. Now right now it only has one cut. Let's give it two cuts so it's a little bit more smooth. And for the amount, let's put in 0 0.05. Okay, that's going to give us a nice smooth corner around the edge of our base there. So it'll look kind of like plastic. That looks really cool. All right, so now we're going to use this slab to make the walls of our house and we're going to do it by just duplicating. Let's do shift D to make a copy. Okay, I'm going to just pick it up here. I'm going to type in R X 90 enter and you can see how that flipped my slab so that now it's sticking straight up. I'll go grab my move and scale tools here and we're going to push this over and when you're moving objects around in Blender if you hold down control you'll feel it click to the nearest grid line, okay? So as I hold down control, you see how it's sticking and it's going up one grid line at a time. That's really helpful for lining things up. Let's do this again. Shift D R Z 90, enter. And you can see it rotated that slab 90 degrees. And then I'm just gonna move it. I'm holding down control as I push these pieces over to the side here, okay? Now let's take both of these and we'll lift this up uh, and just put them right on top of our slab, okay? So if we look at this, our walls are sitting right on top of the slab that we've been modeling from. Cool. So now we all have the exact size room that we need to start with. Let's go ahead and save this up. We're gonna go File, Save As, and just put this into your P drive as your name, Blender Room. And if we ever lose anything, we can always at least come back and start from this point. Now we're gonna put in some of the doors and windows into our house. And to do that, we're gonna use another one of these modifiers. Um, let's say that I wanna cut a door out of this wall right here. First thing I need is something that is the shape of that door. So let's go Shift A. We're going to add a cube. Let's lift this cube up here. I'm going to tab into edit mode and I'm going to make it a little bit taller like a door would be and a little bit wider like a door would be. And then let's push it into the wall. Okay. And I think I want my door to go right here. So I'm going to set it on the wall. And I want you to notice how I pushed this through the wall. That's really important for what we're about to do next, okay? So now that I've got that, that door there, I'm gonna click on the wall. I'm gonna come over to the blue wrench, add modifier, and this time we're gonna use one called Boolean, okay? And a Boolean says, hey, I see you're trying to cut something out of this wall. What shape do you want me to use for that cut? 
I'm going to come over and grab the eyedropper and just click on this cube shape. And you can see it's cut a hole through that wall. Um, to make this permanent, we can just hit apply. And now when I move this cube out of the way, you've got a door. Okay? And the nice thing is I still have my door shape. So if I scale this down, I can just use this as the actual door that goes in that spot. Let's, uh, let's rotate it a little bit. Let's see, I'll rotate it this way and I'll just move it back here so it looks like the door is just kind of cracked open. Okay, very cool. We could do our windows the exact same way. Um, let's do Shift A. We're gonna take a cube, we're gonna lift it up here, and I'm gonna just tab into edit mode, scale this cube a little bit to make it wider and taller, and then I'll go to my front view, and let's move this over. We'll put it right about there, okay? And then I'm going to push it through the wall, click the wall, add, boolean, and then use my eyedropper to click on that cutout shape, okay? Once you've cut it out, hit apply to make it permanent, and now you have your cutout. And I can actually use this block right here to make the little window dividers. Check this out. I'm going to make it way skinnier by squishing it this way. Let's uh, squash that down. And then I'm gonna make it skinnier this way so it's just like a little cross piece, right? And I'll push this back into my window so that it becomes the little cross piece, okay? Now if I wanna put one going the other way, I can use this same block. We'll do Shift D to copy it, R to rotate it. I want it to rotate around the Y axis, so I'm gonna hit Y. There we go, and then I'll type in 90, enter. And finally, I can just scale this out so it goes into the wall. Why don't we combine these two together? Take both of those and right click and join, and boom, I've got my little window divider, okay? So Boolean is really helpful because it not only cuts out the shape, but it leaves you with a block that you can use to fill that in. If you need to make window frames or anything else like that, you've already got the pieces. Um, and another thing to remember is that windows don't have to be rectangular. I could just as easily take a cylinder. You know, if I wanted like a little porthole window up here, let's uh, rotate this 90 degrees uh, and we'll push it into the wall like that. I'll click this wall, add, generate, boolean. And then I'm gonna use my eyedropper to take this cylinder and say, cut it out, okay? I'll apply the effect. And now whoop, I can pull this out of there. I don't need it. I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. And I've got a little porthole window in my room as well. So um, that's how we're going to create the basic parts that go into this. Uh, and then you're just going to start adding detail. You know, when we want to put in some furniture, we can make little tables. We can make um, all different kind of objects that you would find in the house. And you really want to work from basic shapes up to more complex. So I'd probably just start by adding in some more cubes and thinking about what kind of furniture is gonna go in this room. Like, I know I'm probably gonna have a sofa over here against the wall. Let's pop that right in. Um, I'm probably gonna have a table. Actually, let's do our table. We'll do our table out of a cylinder. Put a little round table over here. Let's tab into edit mode, I'll squash it down, maybe scale it a little bit, okay, and then we can kind of put that guy over here, lift him up a little bit. Um, maybe there's a TV in the room, so we could take this guy, shift D, uh, we'll move him this way, we'll scale him down, um, we can flatten him out. And then I can use this as my TV panel that's like hanging on the wall somewhere. Maybe we'll move this over on this wall. Okay, so blocking out is the first part of this process. Just putting in lots of basic shapes. And then we can go in and take each of those shapes and change them up to make them look the way we want to. Um, if you want to round off your table, you can always take this, add that bevel modifier and the settings we use for it were 0 0.05 with three cuts. 
and that'll give me that nice round table. Shade it off, nice, okay. Um, for the legs for this table, let's just make some more cylinders. Um, let's put our cursor right here in the middle of the table. I'm gonna do Shift S, cursor to selected, and my cursor jumps right to that object. Shift A, add a cylinder. Let's scale this guy way down and scale them up. These are gonna be my table legs, okay? So we'll put one on the floor. Let's see, look at it from the side view and I can put one here, Shift D, put another one over here, okay? Then let's take these two, Shift D to make a copy, R, Z, 90. And those rotate, and now I've got my table legs, okay? And they're all spaced out evenly. So now I can take all of these together and join them up. Shade smooth. Cool, got a nice little table for my room, okay? I can just set that anywhere I want it to go. So that should get you started. And then uh, over the course of the next week, we're gonna be learning how to add lots more objects to this, including cloth, fabric, pillows, lights, lamps, all kinds of different objects you might find in your room. All right, give it a shot. And if you need help, let me know.